man, it's good to be able to. It's still in the word. I don't know if you were here last Sunday, if you were, or if you were on Facebook with us on last Sunday. Uh, if you remember, the Lord was focusing uh, in our spirit on what is your biggest fear. What is your biggest fear? Because, see, I don't know if you realize it or not, in order to live in this world, there's going to be some fear. But it's not the fear of being afraid. It is the fear that we have the least amount of. It seems as though that through generation and generation, this type of fear that the Lord wants us to have has been dwindling away. It is called reverence. It is called Reverence. Please say reverence. reverence. It is to the point to where we no longer have much concern about others. And when you don't have concern about others, you don't have concern about the Lord. I, I just want to give you a, a, a quick illustration that um, I need a mother and a child. You say, why me? <laughs> mother and a child, come on up here. Y'all gonna preach today. But you're not gonna preach any different than you have preached before. I just need to make sure that I get across the initial point of fear. Amen. A mother and a child. That was one time that I was this young man's age. Two, three weeks ago, no, not too long ago. <laughs> In my spirit. <laughs> and my mother. I was a lot like him. I looked down on mama. One of my biggest goals in life was to be taller than my parents. Amen. I must have only one had that goal. Oh, amen. Had that goal to be taller. But mama had a way of always reminding me right. that no matter how tall you get, she said, boy, I'll be your mama. Amen, amen. And that height doesn't mean a thing. So what, hap what had to happen through the years, would you do anything? Did you hit mama? Oh, oh yeah, he said, he said that, nope. Even when you're angry, you wouldn't hit mama. What brought that about? Reverence. Reverence. Not because mama balled up her fist and had a bat in the hand or <laughs> <laughs> But that's the kind of fear that is fading. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. Yeah. Amen. See that reverence for mama. This is what the Lord is wanting us to understand. And this is what he's talking about. The fear of the Lord. He doesn't want you to be afraid. He wants you to respect him with awe, reverence him, give him what he's given you. He has respected us throughout our life Amen. and done everything to draw us closer. We need to give him that same respect. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you, this does not come easy. How old are you now? Took 16 years to get here. All right, all right. And he doesn't know it yet. He may have peaked in his reverence because his flesh is saying, I can, or I can do things on my own. Okay, see that smile? <laughs> I can handle myself. 
it ain't, don't look over here, it's half and half. You mean that? <laughs> and without, un, without realizing it, without really knowing, he is now losing that reverence of his mother. He's going to do something. He's going to get another year older. Go call himself being. See, so they know the word. <laughs> and mama going to try to tell him something. He goes, mama, look, I'm almost 17. I'm just about grown. I know what. There goes the what? Because the reverence. Because he no longer will look to her the way he used to. Thank y'all. That's a good sermon. If you're moved to support this ministry, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign Living Witness MC or through Tithely on our website at livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com. Click on the gift in the top right corner of the homepage. Thank you for watching and God bless.